Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, download VMware for the Linux project and uh, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Ubuntu or uh, Debian or whatever distro, either Red Hat or uh, or Debian distribution so uh, you have the choice to download your favorite distro of uh, Linux so first I'm going to talk a little bit about VMware as you can see we can go to uh, we can actually type VMware okay workstation download as you can see and then VMware workstation pro and then for Windows users you could actually uh, click on the link download now for Linux users you could actually download VMware right here okay and uh, for the uh, after downloading VMware, as you can see, I have already uh, VMware installed. So now that you have uh, VMware installed and running, you can actually go and check. For example, uh, if your distro is uh, your favorite distro is Ubuntu, you could actually type Ubuntu download Ubuntu download page. And as you can see here, you could go ahead and download the uh, Ubuntu 18.04.04 LTS, as you can see here. Uh, if your favorite uh, distribution is Debian, you could actually go to Debian download. Debian download here. And this is the page. So you could go to cds and dvds in here we can go back let's go back here and then we could download an installation image and cds or usb stick let's go to md so we could click here those basically are tiny Let's go back. We could go back and then click on the uh, downloading Debian CD DVD images. So here we have CDs. Those are net install, minimal installation, and those are uh, full installation of Debian. So you could actually uh, choose an EMD 64 bit. This is uh, for 64 bit uh, processors. And then you scroll down a little bit, and then as you can see, you could download the latest Debian okay, DVD ISO file from here. Okay. Uh, regarding the Red Hat uh, distributions, you could actually choose Cent, Cent OS download, download here, and then uh, let's go to download. And you could choose actually uh, DVD net install images here. You could also uh, install, let's go right here, CentOS Streams. You could just go to the mirrors basically. So. We could actually get uh, CentOS Linux DVD ISO, as you can see, or we could uh, choose CentOS Stream DVD ISO, one of the, those. Okay. When it's actually uh, downloaded, you could go to VMware, either uh, Ubuntu, Debian, or CentOS, and then you could choose okay new virtual machine okay to install the software, and then. Uh, you choose typical recommended and then you get next and then choose what you browse and then I'm gonna select here and then I'm gonna go to operating systems I have a couple of um, so let's choose for instance um, I choose um, Ubuntu server ISO 
an old one but it's okay so you could actually select this one open and then next okay as you can see the username phone name username and then the password this is a root password or the username password here uh, Ubuntu 64 bits and then you could actually uh, make it Terry or 40 Terry and store disk in single file and then next and then you could customize you could give it uh, 2 gig that's more in the, than enough regarding the processors you could go with only one processor you could enable the virtual CPU performance counters in here and then close and finish and then the installation will uh, begin after a while so uh, after installing after the installation finished for example let's say you uh, install the bn distribution finish it's just responding so let's go to Debian for example let me close this one okay so I'm gonna go to VMware again so now let's say we uh, installed the Debian okay install Ubuntu so you don't need to do the installation twice you can actually clone the uh, Ubuntu installation or Debian or uh, CentOS so by going to manage and then clone right here okay so next okay the current state in the virtual machine okay and then next create link clone create full clone so select full clone and then next and then where you want to store it you go with the default you could actually uh, use the location different location for me because my hard disk is 120 SSD and I want to actually put it somewhere here somewhere else so clone of Debian we could name it let's say uh, let's name it client one for example then here we go and next finish okay and you clone the software so you don't need to install as I mentioned you don't need to install the uh, Linux distro twice but you need to install it once and then clone okay the uh, same Ubuntu one will be server and the other one will be client so I'm gonna cancel here I don't need to uh, clone so one will be the server and the other one will be the uh, client now that you install the Debian you could go to edit virtual machine pretty click right click and go to settings okay while the, uh, the Ubuntu or Debian is shut down so we could go to uh, VMware as you can see and uh, let me actually create private interface before we proceed so to do that we go to uh, edit virtual network editor <coughs> sorry so virtual network editor I need to type my password here and as you can see we have a bridge auto bridging so this VM net 0 is a bridge to uh, whatever okay active uh, interface that you have so this interface right here uh, this one is set to automatic so it will actually get an IP address exactly as the host that's running uh, this VMware right here uh, we have VMware uh, VMNet 1 host only adapter as you can see and we deselect the uh, so let's say um, uh, this is the server right so I'm gonna deselect connect host virtual adapter VMware to this network yes use local DHCP service we don't want to do that 
and then host only connected to VMs internally in private network and then you type the IP address that they give you in the instructions right here okay and you click save so a VM1 will be uh, connected to the server as well as to the client as well okay on both so they can communicate and the server could allocate IP addresses to hosts or to the host to the client okay uh, as I mentioned in the assignment so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right here so if you have any uh, question regarding the installation uh, or connecting uh, the server to the client please let me know and thank you